Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cabaret, I am Penge and welcome back to Timberborn where we pick things up once again with our little colony of lumberpunk beavers and things are looking pretty good for our beavers. They've got themselves quite a nice place. So when we started last time there was only this, there was the labour house and that was it. So they spilled out of the labour house, a collection of lumberpunk beavers, all unemployed, not really knowing what to do in this brave new world they found themselves in. And they have created this, and it's very lovely. So farming area over here, they've got a grill so they can grill some potatoes, bit of storage, a little sort of a working area just there with those two buildings. There is a very lovely campfire over here, so they can gather around the campfire and have a little chat and, I don't know, toast carrots or whatever they would do. And they've got an inventor to over here we've got our fantastic kind of multi-story residential block over here which is very good and one of the first things we are going to be doing is actually getting some more housing set up in here because there are 21 adult beavers and only enough housing to support 18 of them so there are going to be three homeless ones we can actually see there's some little sort of sleeping mat things there so we need to sort that out because that's not good that's not good. We're not having homelessness in our settlement. That's a bad thing. And then down by the river, some storage, some water spots, and then the very lovely water wheel, which is, if we put, sort of move time on, there we go. It's turning, and it is turning this thing in here, which means that the carpenter has power, which means that they can turn logs into planks, which is very lovely indeed. So yeah, it's looking very good indeed. I think we need another field over here. We need to sort this out. So get a potato field set up over here, because then we'll have three carrot and three potato fields, which makes a lot of sense. But right now, let's get some housing sorted. Oh, are you giving me a <laughs> are you giving me a subtle hint there that this is where you would like some houses to be? Who are you? You're Sligo and you live in a lodge. I oh, know you live in a lodge. Oh, you're okay. There are some people, there's two beavers that have no job. Okay, right, first things first, let's get some housing set up because we could do with having this thing all set up properly. So hang on, twist that round. So we'll put that there, yes please. And do you know what? We'll have another one just there as well. We've built it on the top of Sligo. Oh, it's fine, I'm sure he'll be okay. And then we need to expand the footbridge up that way a little bit so it can actually allow people to you know, climb up and along here and then into their front doors. Sligo, you might want to move out of the way, my, my good chap. There you go, right, right, Sligo's moved. And uh, look at that, one's in already. Good grief, that was quick. They're both in already. Wow, okay, now we just need to actually finish the platform that let them get up to those particular structures. And one, and two, and... Hey, there we go. So look, they can get to their doors now. I like that. I like the stacking thing. I think it looks very, very good indeed. And then also, we want another inventor as well, I think. Let's get another one of these inventor huts in because our science is ticking up. It's okay, but it's a bit slow and we could do that a bit quicker. So let's get another inventor hut in when we could just put it there. So science inventor's hut. Let's just put it, I don't know, there. That'll do. Hang on, can they actually get to those stairs if I put that there? That might be a bad idea. Let's put it just there. It can sort of tuck in quite nicely just there. And then we can get another inventor. That means one of those beavers can actually take that job, which would be quite good. There we go. So one of them has gone straight in, which is splendid. Uh, right, let's cut this tree down. Let's get rid of that tree. So choppity chop, uh, get rid of whatever that is. Yeah, away with that. Don't think we need to do the stumps or anything. So there we go. So get rid of this. So we'll take that down. Splendid. And then in here, we've got one beaver with no job. And it won't take too long, I wouldn't have thought, until there is another beaver, until one of the children uh, grow up into an adult beaver. There you go, look. It's kind of happening anyway. So Talis has grown up and stuff. So, yeah, we'll get another field in here of potatoes. And that will mean, yeah, the equal amount of uh, carrot fields and potato fields. And we'll be looking okay for food. I mean, we're looking all right now. 135 food. We've got 51 berries, 27 carrots, 57 grilled potatoes oh that will keep them going for absolutely ages that's wonderful okay so yeah let's get in um another potato field just drop that in we'll put the sort of entrance up that way splendid okay so they'll quickly get that done in fact will they maybe they won't because there's not enough logs okay right we need to do some more some more chopping of things let's get rid of everything over there Get rid of all of those things. And we do need to, and this is what we need to do with our science, we do need to actually research the, uh, where would it be? Where would it be? Woodworking in there? Uh, there, Forester. 
just there. We need 60 science points because we need a forester. We're going to put a forester up here. We might put two foresters up here and they can just go about, plant loads of trees, and then we can cut them down again. So we can have a nice sustainable source of wood. But right now, we can chop all these down and that will give us a big pile of wood to go on for quite some time, I would have thought. That'll keep us going for a little while. Science is on 53. That's looking very good. There we go. One person down here. A building lacks materials. Does it? Oh, it's lacking potatoes. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, some more growing just here. 90% through. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's fine. Click Clear that notification. It's a bit misleading. I thought it was more about building and stuff. And I think as well, all the extra logs. Let's get some more houses in. Let's actually get some more housing sorted on the top of here. We could put another one just there. So add another house. Can we get the actual walkway thing all the way along as well? That might be quite nice. Let's do that. Let's just go We There you go. Walkway all the way along. In fact, a walkway just there. And then we can have a ladder going to it just there and just there. Yes, I like that idea. And then wherever they are, they can get up onto here. Well, no. 23 adults and 22 housing. Okay, right. We really do need loads of houses. <laughs> we need lots and lots of houses. More housing, please. Right. One, two, and three, and four. Many houses. Lots and lots of houses are required. Right. We do have 77 science. Uh, and we've got two beavers with no jobs. That's quite good because soon enough we can have foresters because I think we have 77 science. So let's go to, what was it? Woodworking and forester. So yes, please. Let's unlock one of those, and all it requires is 10 logs and 7 planks. Okay, it'll take a little while to get one in, but it will happen. And then if we just put that... Um, where do we want to put that? There? Yeah, let's put it there. And the construction site is too far from labourers. Build more paths. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'll build a path up to it. Don't you worry. It's fine. Uh, so if we put that there, they're not going to start having to come down onto this bottom tier and build things. So if we put that there and then get ourselves some more lovely paths. So bring that path down like that. Let's build it a bit like that, actually. There we go. So you can get all that done. Get all these houses in. We've asked them to build quite a lot of things. Not that many logs left. Okay, right. Commence operation. Chop down more trees. Get rid of all those ones as well. Chop down all of the things. I mean, you're beavers. You should be very, very good at this. You should be very efficient. How many sort of workers have we got? We have... Four out of eight people at the labour house. We do want to keep some, but we do have two unemployed. Hang on, can we add another then? So let's add another person to the labour house. That leaves one beaver without a job. So hopefully that beaver without a job can then go and work in there, which will be splendid. In fact, why not right now? Why don't we just put them in the labour house right now? And then unreachable construction site. Is it? Is it unreachable? I mean, you need to do these things first. You need to do the paths first. I think they're busy doing the houses. I think they're building the houses. Okay, right. We'll let them do that. Also, you two are thirsty. Go and quench your thirst first. Go and sort that out. Oh, here we go. They're working on the path. And I see they've got the little stair arrangement in as well. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> that looks great. Look, a little sort of platform. They can just walk along. I like that. That looks very good. Okay, so are they now able... Yeah, look, they're now putting things in there. And I think once this is done, they should be able to get building that. It needs it needs a plank. It needs one plank. Come on, come on, carpenter. Get get on with it. Make more planks. Get planking. And there we go. Right, so now that building lacks workers. So now what we could do is go into here and take one of you out of there. And that worker can be reassigned up here. And what are you doing? You just sort of had a little Oh, you're going back to bed. <laughs> okay. Right, hang on, hang on, right. Hopefully we can see the Forester in operation in the morning. That would be quite nice. Have they got anything to do at night time? There's a little campfire here, but only, what, five beavers can fit around that. The others are just sort of, just sort of mooching about. Is there anything we can give them <laughs> to do? Like leisure, a temple is 300 science points. God, that's quite a lot. Printing press, yeah, that's books. Uh, print books using paper, and then a carousel, 700 science points. Oh, that needs gears and all sorts of things. Oh, crikey, yeah, we can't do one of those yet. Um, decoration. Now, you see, I'd like to get some of these in as well. I'd like to get some of these. Simple green decoration. Just get some shrubs. 
Let's put some shrubs around the place. It'll look really pretty. In fact, you know what? Let's unlock that now. I know it's 20 science points and it's on a shrub, but if we put ourselves a shrub just there, because I don't think we're going to do much else with that space, that's quite pretty. And then how about we took one... Um, a lot of people walk around this way, don't they? So if we took one behind that storage area, put one there, and then can we put one just there? So whenever anyone goes to get a drink, they get their aesthetic sort of uh, sort of need satisfied because they go next to that. That's quite nice. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So get our people in the morning to set up some little shrubberies. <laughs> some shrubberies with a little path down the middle. Okay, but they've all gone to bed. Okay, fair enough. And then, yeah, maybe next time we can use our science points for something more exciting. But I think that's good. If that can meet one of their demands, one of their needs, that's got to be a good thing. Also, you, you're thirsty. Go and get a drink, thirsty ones. First things first, go and get a drink. In fact, food and water. A water pump pumps water for beavers to drink is 70 science points. And they don't have to go down to the sort of, yeah, the river's edge to actually go and get a drink. That might be worth going to get. What are we on? 57 science points. It's going to cost 70 science points. That is probably worth doing. I mean, at some point, we're going to want to get this stuff done as well. We're going to want to get um, the, the wheat filled in so we can get wheat, then make bread and all that kind of stuff. Let's wait for this. In fact, it's not going to take too long at all. Come on, another couple of science points would be nice. There we go. Right, let's unlock that. So yes, please. What do we need? 20 logs and 20 planks. Crikey. Okay, right. That's going to take a little while. Also, I can't put it there. Where where can I put it? I don't have to put it by the water to it. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't think it had to go by the Oh, hang on. Hang on. It pumps water. But do they have to... Can we sort of channel it anywhere? Or is it, just, is it better than one of those things? I assume it's better than one of the little sort of water hole things. Oh, I thought we could have it in the middle here or something. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. <laughs> it's still got to go down here. But I guess it's better. It's better than the other things. It crafts for lots of water. Oh, let's just drop one there because we've unlocked it now and I feel a little bit silly. I thought I thought it was going to be like a well and we could have just put one here or something. And yay, a well. I swear there was something like that. Storage, water tank. There, water tank. Stores water. Yes, maybe we need one of those. But to get one of those, we need 10 gears. Right, how do we get gears? Where's that? That's not there. That's not housing. Uh, woodworking. A gear workshop. Okay, so one gear from one plank. We need 100 science points to get that. Okay, right. We might just need to move time on until we have quite a lot more science points then. And we've got over 100 science. And also our little water thingy has been built. Yay for the water pump. So there we go. So does it generate actual water that we keep in buckets or barrels or whatever? And then we put that into warehouses is that a thing i don't know i think it might just mean that they can go in and just grab a quick drink i'm not entirely sure oh, but look it's actually it's doing actual sort of pumping stuff at the back oh that's very nice look at that <laughs> again all made of wood very clever the very ingenious sort of uh, lumber punk beavers uh, okay yeah so it's just it's just generating a load of water oh okay that's fine okay i mean yeah so they have to come here to get it still but that's probably absolutely fine. There we go. So we've at least got a nice place. So over here, we've got loads and loads of water needs actually satisfied now. That's very, very good. Are we okay for food? Uh, it's looking okay. Again, it's getting a little bit, not dicey for food, but we haven't got a massive surplus of food. How long until that is done? 85% for that potato field. 93. 93% for that one. 80 and 80 and... Oh! Oh, okay, we'll have some more carrots very, very soon, because that is done. In fact, they should start harvesting. There you go, harvesting that right now. Lots of carrots going in. Okay, right, that's good news. So let's get the first of these things in. Let's get in. Where was it? Woodworking. The Gears Workshop. It crafts gears from planks. We've only got three planks right now, but let's do this. So 100 science points. Ouch. Yes, please. Let's get that done, and let's put one of these down. So what does it need to actually... Get constructed. 15 logs and 25 planks. Okay, crikey. And also it requires power to operate. Now, does that mean that we have to tinker about with this stuff? Ah, that shares power with adjacent buildings, it says there. Oh, that's quite good. 
oh, well, let's do that. It makes sense to have it next door because that's where the planks are going to go anyway. The planks are going to come from here, so they could just send the planks straight in. Now, how is that going to work? How does it work? Oh, I like that. They just all appeared. I loaded them in a big line with loads of logs. <laughs> that was very good. Okay, so yeah, so they're going to share the power. So does that mean that inside the buildings they connect them up with a little sort of connecty rod like that? I don't know. That'll be intriguing to see. Also, up here, our forester has been doing a very good job. Look at that. They're planting lots of pine seedlings. And there's a button down here which says auto cut mature trees. So when they're done, they will then cut those trees down and bring them back down here. So we're going to have a kind of a nice, it's going to be slow, a slower source of wood coming in, but at least that's something. Now what we might want to do is get many of those. We might want to get another one of those, possibly, I don't know, where else can we build? Up here somewhere, just so they can bring some stuff back down. Uh, also, I did think we could cross over. There's a load of room over here. There is a load of room over here. Can we get up on there? That'd be quite nice. We'd get up onto this little raised platform. Um, but yeah, there's quite a bit of space over here that we could build on. So how about we try and cross over the um, cross over the water a little bit using our foot bridges? So I assume we can just go boom and just go yay foot bridge and then just sort of get some of that stuff in. We'll see if that works. I don't know. There seems to be a little nagging message there implying that maybe that couldn't be done. We'll have, to have, we'll have to have a look. We'll have to see. I mean, okay, they're, currently they're not working right now. It's now sort of, you know, it's relaxation time. That's fine. They've all gone to bed. We'll see in the morning. If they get on with building this little bridge, that might be quite good. If not, we'll have to see. I mean, do we need to build scaffolding or something for that? I'm not sure. Let's see what they're getting up to. Are they actually building that now? Yes, they are. Logs and planks. Ah, so it's planks that are the problem. Okay, right. Planks are the issue. Uh, okay, let's just wait for more planks to appear. I guess they're sending them into here as well. So we're asking quite a lot of the of the beavers right now. It's fine. Right, I'll stop nagging you to do many, many, many jobs. You just do them as and when you can. We've got two beavers that have no job. Let's put another potato field down. And it's quite lovely. It fits just there, which is pretty much perfect. So we'll drop that in on this side and then we can have a kind of, well, they can actually connect to this path, which is fine. We could have another path running down here. We could put some more stuff down here. I also wonder if we can reach the, these things up here. Can we get those things up there? Uh, can we reach those? Or oh, we can reach some of those things. Okay, we can reach some of these. Right, how about then, if we were to build a little path going up here to just there, and then cut down, as you cut down everything. Just remove all of those things. However many you can, just get rid of them. Yes, yeah, so it's going to nag at the minute, saying unreachable things. But uh, yeah, as soon as they get this path done, they should be able to actually go a little bit further in. So yeah, if we just mark all those for, all those for harvesting right now, just get all of those things. And yeah, when that path is done, they'll be able to reach a little bit further in. There we go, look. And they'll take these ones down. We can expand the path further, maybe go up here, and then maybe have a forest up here, and a forester over here as well. Because yes, I'm a little bit a little bit concerned that we're doing quite a lot of the cutting down of things and not a lot of the replacing of things. So uh, so yes, we'll try and replace things uh, with more foresters as and when we can. Let's just also remove all of those. Oh no, hang on, no, don't, not those ones. Don't do those. They're going to be awkward to get to. Don't do those. But try and get all these ones. And do you know what? Those as well. Get those things down. That'd be nice. And can we get all these down too? Can we get everything over here? And it's done. It's done. The gear workshop is complete. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, and they're already on it. They're already making a gear, are they? Crafting progress is at 85%. Hang on. Are you making a gear already? Yes. I think you've made a gear. Can I see what you're carrying? Oh, you're carrying a plank. Oh, hang on. You, you must have come out of the thing that I thought you had. I thought we'd made a gear just there because that crafting progress went up. Okay, but yeah, they're powered, so they are sharing this thing. So yeah, somewhere in there, somewhere inside, must be another connection between this sort of, you know, the, the wheel and this, whatever that would be, the bit in the middle of the wheel that turns around. <laughs> that's, that's the very technical terminology there. Um, and there must be a bit inside that then connects it through to this building. But there we go. That is excellent. How are we looking for, for things? How are we looking for things? 94 logs, one gear. Okay, but... No planks. No planks. Can we get you to do things a bit quicker, Curzol? There can only be one worker in there at any one time. It would be handy if you could do things a bit quicker. That would be very, very nice. Because, yeah, now 
want to see if we can build here. Oh, and we can. We can build over here. Oh, yes. Okay, right. That's what we're going to do next. So we need to get over here. There's a load of stuff over here. We could then build ourselves another labor house over this side. I do notice that we need some more housing as well. Oh, dear me. But we do have 151 science points. We've actually got quite a lot of science points going on. That's quite nice. Also, we need some more paths. So let's get a path going up like that. And then we'll put a path sort of going... Uh, well, how are we going to be able to reach those? Right into the middle, like that. And then one across the top. And then one going that way, maybe. That'll do. Let's see if we can cover some more of those trees so we can cut those down. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would have thought they were near enough, but okay. That's it. The game's just being very picky. There we go. Build that into there. <laughs> Get those ones down. And then if we just put a path straight up here, is that near enough to those? And then these can meet up just like that and hopefully with those constructed we can get to those trees in the corner to cut them down as well. We've got five beavers with no jobs so let's actually get ourselves just to make sure that we do have lots of food because I remember playing this last time and running out of food was a bit of a problem. Let's get another potato field because they're good so get another one of those in that will give two of the beavers jobs and then just to hurry the science along let's just get another Let's get another two inventor's huts. There's lots of inventor's huts going on. And they can go just there and just there. And they can connect that little bit just there. And that's absolutely fine. And they do not require too much to build. 12 logs. We've got 123 of them we did have. So yeah, they should be absolutely fine. We do need some more housing, I notice. We need some more houses. Now, what can we do with that? I do not know. Where do you want to put them? I don't want to put them over here. I like the way this looks right now. I like that. Just two, you know, like a you know, one up, one down kind of thing. I like that idea. Maybe we build some more houses along here. That might be quite good. And we could have them multi sort of storied as well if we can make that work. We could have them around the back. We could have like some facing this way and the ones on the top could face the other way. Yes, let's do that. That sounds good. Uh, we'll put that. Let's put it next to the grill. Why not? Shares power with adjacent buildings. I don't think we necessarily need power, but it'll do. It's fine. So let's put a building there and a building there. So we'll have that like that. And if we move time on and then out the back here, if we then get paths and structures, we're then going to want a footbridge out the back like so. And then we can have a little ladder that gets onto that just there. And then the path can come round like that. Yes. Okay, and then we can put the other buildings on the top, and then we can just build a kind of parade of those along there, which sounds very good. I like that. And again, more housing is good, more builders. Actually, we are a bit... Are we all right now? 39 adults for 36 has, and we're still... Oh, no, there you go. Right, they're, they're sorting it out. Oh, no, 40 for 36. Right, we need lots more housing. <laughs> there's homeless There's homeless beavers, and that's not good. But of course, all that means we need more food. Need a lot more food. There's still four beavers with no job. <laughs> More inventor's huts. More of those. They're good for the science. Um, okay, let's get inventor's row. Let's just have another two inventor huts just there because that's good. And then we'll connect that with that. We might fit another one. Yeah, we could just have like a load of inventors around here. It could be like the, the brainy the brainy quarter. Um, and then more housing is required. But then we can turn it round, put it there and there. And then we'll have another two like that. Okay, splendid. Right, that should be enough for housing. I would hope that would suffice for housing when they get all that stuff done. They still haven't quite got these done. Is it planks? Are we lacking planks? Yeah, we might need... Can we actually get that in there? Can we get another carpenter in? Can we fit one into that little gap? And it's going to share power with the adjacent buildings. Beautiful. Yes, we'll have another one of those, please. Because that does seem to be a bit of an issue. We're running out of planks. Ooh, and, and logs. We seem to have run out of logs. Yes, of course, because we told them to just go and do loads of um, do loads of building. Uh, well, lots of logs are that we've requested. They go and chop down loads of trees, so they should they should be fine. Yeah, they should be able to get to some of these things eventually, including all of those. Pretty much at long last, they can get to all these ones in here, apart from that one, that one tree and that one bush over there. They're being a little bit annoying, but other than that, we can get loads of stuff from there. Okay, right, we might need to wait. Oh no, there you go. Those things are in. We're going to have so many science points. Generating so much science for science. I'm liking this idea. I think we should spend 120 of our science points 
It's a lot of science points, but let's get gable roofs. I know we don't need gable roofs, but I like the idea of just having fancy roofs to finish this bit off. And um, yeah, it gives, uh, it satisfies the aesthetics in a one tile radius. So when they walk along here, walk along to their houses, they'll feel a little bit more sort of happy about the world and about the lovely architecture because we've given them pointy roofs. So let's do that. Yes, please. And then I imagine they just sort of slot on the top, do they? Oh, we can have in all sorts of ludicrous things. Hang on, let's have those like that and those <laughs> those sideways because because that that's how it should be done, of course. There we go. Brilliant. And then we'll have... Um, do you know what? No, let's not put them on there yet. Let's not put them on there yet. How much was the... Ah, uh, where was it? In here. No, not in there. Storage. How much was a water tank? 100 and 20 science points. Let's get ourselves a water tank. Yes, please. Can we put that on top of things? Or does it just have to go on the ground? Ah, oh, we can't put it on top of something. I thought we could stick it on there. Oh, no, we could. We could put it on there if there was something underneath. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can we rotate it around? Ah, yes, we can. We can put it on there. They can't get to there. So we'd have to build another sort of way of them getting to that particular place. But okay, that's good. Well, we don't need it on something right now. As as good as that would look. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just doing it for the sake of it. Um, how about we have a water tank set up just there, just near those houses? That'll do. Let's pop a little water tank in as well. So oh, I'm asking them to do about 12 bazillion things. Right. Sorry, I will stop now. I will stop. You keep making your gears and your planks and go and grab all the logs and things. Because you've still got quite a few trees to go and get. Um, and then, yeah, when, you, when you've actually done all, lots of stuff and you've been able to go and gather some resources, um, we'll come back. But yeah, I'll just let you get on with your job. Sorry. As I've been sitting here, I've been just been watching the lumberpunk beavers run around and do their thing. And a little icon kept appearing over the uh, the warehouse here. This warehouse and occasionally over the labour house as well. I don't know what it was. I kept looking thinking, what is that? But I think it means that they are getting close to capacity or they are full. Yeah, so that one, 199 out of 200 capacity. This one down here, 70 out of 200. So not so bad. And that is 65 out of 100. It might be because we have quite a lot of food. We've got an awful lot of food. And of course, we're growing more food and all that kind of stuff. So it might be worth using 250 of our science points. And we have many of them because I've added some more inventor huts over here. <laughs> the brainy quarter has become brainier. Um, we've got 373. So why don't we use 250 of those points to unlock the large warehouse? And then that's that done. We can probably just have one large warehouse to deal with what we need to do for a long, long time. So let's get that. Yes, please. And then we'll build one. The other thing is, it's 60 logs and 80 planks. So it's quite a big thing. It's quite a sort of a hefty thing to get constructed. Um, oh, it's not actually very big on the actual map. I thought it was going to be a big, little bit bigger than that. But okay, right, let's put that just there then. So I can go kind of in the middle. Makes sense for it to go in the middle of the settlement. There you go. Oh, there was a little icon there, but it's gone away now. So they can get on with just gathering all the stuff still. I mean, we're still struggling for the gable end stuff. Ah, oh, look at this. We've got, we've got trees. We've got trees up here now. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. What's that? Cancel cutting. I mean, why are they trying to cut those ones down? If you can't reach those ones, don't don't sort of try and cut them down. That's <laughs> a bit silly. Um, yeah, that should reach, though. It should reach. Okay, I mean, it looks like they are cutting some of them down, which is nice. That's a good thing. They are already cutting some of the mature trees down. But yeah, why are we trying to get to that one if we can't reach it? That seems a little bit silly, doesn't it? That seems a little bit silly. Can we have more workers in there? No, we cannot, unfortunately. Okay, how about getting this bit set up? with a forester. Oh, we still need some more paths. Okay, right, yeah, they're being quite sort of finicky about this. Uh, can we connect up? Oh, hang on, we need to get rid of that. There's a, there's a thing. There's a thing that's avoided away with you. Get rid of that. When that's gone, we can then bring a path round here, and it's already gone. Splendid. So, get a path. Path coming this way, please. And path there as well, so maybe it's next to this. And then hopefully should be able to reach those cut those down why can't we get this like what is our range on this this is all that's a bit weird isn't it um yeah if the path is there though we're going to build right next to it we're going to build flush to the thing okay fine we'll do that then fine if you're being awkward like that then yes 
There we go. Look, we've connected it all up with lovely paths. Can we please chop the trees down now? It's getting a little bit kind of fiddly and faffy to try and get these trees. Like this one here is next to a path. I thought the whole point was that if it was next to a path, we could go and get it. But it looks like we're kind of reaching the range of the labour house. I think that must be it. I don't think we can do much further than that. However, we could always go over here and exploit this little bit over here. So where can we reach across the way? We've got quite a range across the way there. Across the path, we've got a little bit. We could take some of these things down and then we could build another labour house over here and extend our range over this way and get lots and lots and lots of wood <laughs> because that's where we're struggling now. Food's looking okay. Food is okay. I mean, 201 food. They've got berries. A water counts as food. I mean, there's no potatoes or anything. There are quite a lot of beavers as well. There's quite a lot of them. But, um, yeah, this bit over here could be fine to get us some more planks and you know, logs and whatever. So generate all the stuff that we do need. So how about we do that? Let's go over to here then. And we'll start cutting down stuff over here. In fact, you know what? Just cut down all the things. Is that what that's going to do? Cut down all of those things, please. So when they wake up, let's then cancel all those things because they're just going to confuse them. So cancel that, cancel that one, cancel those just there, cancel those there. So how many have we got now? 54 unreachable ones. These ones up here, yeah, it is complaining a bit up here as well. It's complaining up here that it, we can only harvest the trees that are at the front. Do we need to build... Oh, hang on, but we can't build a path through here, can we? To get to the back. That's going to be a bit of a faff to get all the way across there. Do we just want to build some sort of thing up there as well? I want to build a, where is it, labor. Labor flag. Hang on, what does that do? Uh, does that extend, does that extend where we can? Ah, oh, that's what we can do. We can have a labor flag. Oh, that's marvelous. Oh, let's just put one of those there right now. Yeah, do that, build a labor flag. Get a flag and hopefully, yes. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, that makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? Hooray! Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. That is good. I mean, we could get another labour house anyway over here. I kind of foresee this bit over here becoming kind of its own little independent area anyway. So we'll have that there and we will have a path going straight past the front of that anyway. So now we need to get them to build that. Uh, how are we looking for food? Still only on berries. Still only on berries. It makes me nervous. More potatoes. What have we got? Seven beavers with no jobs. Oh, absolutely. Potatoes. Potatoes for everybody. We never seem to be able to acquire any planks. I'm not entirely sure why. What are we doing that requires so many planks? Oh, it's the water tank that's requiring many, many planks. Okay, so it's full of gears, but it needs more planks. Right, hang on. Can we turn off the gear workshop for now? Just turn it off. We don't need you to be doing anything right now, Gear Workshop. We've got 31 gears. That's many, many gears. That's plenty of gears. Thank you very much. So, yeah, so we'll sort of suspend that for now. We'll switch that back on in a bit. But, yeah, we need to acquire all of the planks. Also, I've gone through and I have put in little sort of labour post things, labour flags. So one over here, which means I can get to all those trees, finally. And then one over here on the edge of a path. So if we click that... We get pretty much, there's a couple of trees out there that we don't get, but pretty much this whole area up here as well, which is wonderful. So now we can go up to here and say, yes, cut down all of these things, please. And we can actually reach them. Hooray and hurrah, at long last look, we can get all of those things. And um, we'll get, Joe. You know, we'll actually chop those things down in there because they're starting to grow back a bit. We'll get you at long last and you, all you lot over there we'll get. Hang on, can we go from there and sort of just do that? Yes, we can finally get them all and you in there as well. That's it, there's no escaping it now, trees. And then we just need to wait for this thing to get constructed. But again, that's requiring planks and all the planks at the minute, ah, they've gone into the water tank, but the water tank is now complete and it's actually filling up. They're filling it up with water. Oh, that's very good. So I guess they take the water out of the stock, do they? And then just fill it up? Or are they just are they literally going down to... Are they getting the water from here? Or are they going down to the river? I think they're going here. So they're grabbing the water from the pump and putting it in here. So now if they need a drink, they can go over here and grab a drink. Ah, okay, right. Oh, look at that. Look at the amount of water that they're grabbing from it. Wow. Okay, right. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. But now, over here, we should finally start being able to get on with this because we should be actually making some planks at long last. Oh no, we're putting it in here. 
Oh no, now we're putting the planks into the large warehouse. Hang on, is there a prioritise button or anything like that? Can we prioritise this? Oh, we're going to have to wait for a long time. That's a lot of planks they need to get for this. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, what's that? Let's turn off the large warehouse. That's going to take forever. That needs another, a lot. That needs a lot of planks. Can we put the planks down here? I would rather they go into here. There we go, Luke. Two are already in. Right, splendid. Good job. And all of the planks are in, so hopefully it can finally get constructed. Hurrah! And that has... Oh, yes. That's got a lovely range to it. Okay, right. This is very good. Now, okay, over here, we're going to sort of set up... It's not going to be a replacement for this. This is going to always be the, the main sort of area, but it's going to be a new sort of like a little outpost. But over here, we could have some farms and such like as well. We could get some of that stuff in. Also, I just realised I didn't look at the lovely roofs. They're very nice. I do like those. They're very good. <laughs> I like the gable roofs. Look at those. They're very pretty. Oh, that's very good. Okay, splendid. I also did notice we've got a heck of a lot of science points. Can we build one of these monuments yet? A labourer monument. A tribute to all the labourers satisfies all one in a seven tile radius. It needs 200 logs. Is it worth getting one of those in? Maybe not. Maybe there are other things that we could get. I mean, okay, scaffolding. 90 points. Let's actually treat ourselves to some things because we've got we've got loads of inventors. <laughs> we've got loads of them. Uh, we've got five beavers with no job as well. So we could always get some more inventors. If we do that, let's get... At least, let's bring it, let's have a little crossroads here. That's fine. I like that. Um, in fact, connect that down to there. Let's have another couple of these, just because science is good for science and everything. So we'll have one there, and then we'll have, let's have one going here, and then we'll bring a path down to the front like that. And we could take another one in there. Then we could put some like shrubs and things over here as well. Hang on, what else can we get now? Uh, a bench, 80 science points. Yes, please. And do you know what? Let's have a bench. Let's pop a little bench just there. That's quite nice. And one there. Oh, yes. Now we've just got pointless things. Yes, we'll have a bench just there. Um, let's have one over here. Look, a little sit down over there, maybe. Maybe just there. If you need to sit down after you've got your water. In fact, let's put two just there. Um, and then maybe we'll pop one. Um, let's put one just there. A really nice, that sounds like a nice vantage point. You could just sit and just watch stuff going on and watch the river and watch everything going on. Okay, right, good. That's good. So we've got that in. And now over here, I think we need to put some sort of storage area. So a small warehouse would not go amiss to go straight opposite there as well. And then across here, let's get ourselves some more industry stuff set up as well. So we'll get ourselves another wheel connecting to some more carpenters and stuff like that. Because I think that's going to be quite useful. We're going to need more planks and things. So let's get that set up over here as well. So we'll get ourselves right power. We're going to need a wheel. What are these other things? A high shaft and a raised shaft. It's very complicated. Right. Okay, hang on. Let's just put a wheel. Let's put it right opposite the other one. So it looks nice. It looks good and kind of symmetrical almost. And then we'll get ourselves a carpenter's workshop thingamajig. And I mean, we could just plug it straight in right on the edge of the, you know, plug it straight into the wheel. Um, but we do want to have it a little way away. We could have it there, actually. How about we do that? Is it in line with the other one? Hang on, hang on. If we put that there, then we can have another one there. We can have three in a row. That would be good. So yeah, let's pop that just there for now. And then we need to connect it up with a thing, a thingamabob, one of those things. Uh, so yes, so coming out of there, into there, splendid. Right. Now I've asked them to do about 10 bazillion things again. Right, first things first as well. <laughs> More things that I'm going to ask them to do. Right, chop down all of those things. And where can you reach over here? You can reach pretty much all of those trees over there. So all of the mature trees, choppity chop those down, please, because we need lots of resources. So let's just grab all of those. There's some probably can't get, but there you go. That'll do. That's a, that's a pretty good start. That's a lot of wood. Do you know what actually might be good over here? A log pile might actually work quite well. Let's put a log pile down just there, actually. That's probably quite a good idea. So run the path up to the front of the log pile. Okay, right. You've got a gazillion things to build. Um, get building, I suppose. 
our housing situation is not looking very good, is it? Uh, that's not very good at all. Right, let's get some housing in over here as well. Maybe the houses could live opposite the little industrial zone that we're creating. So let's grab a path. A path can run across there. There's a there's an offending tree just there. Can we remove the tree, please? Remove the tree. Away with you, offending tree. And then we'll get some more housing set up. But over here, because that makes sense. So yeah, they can live up here. Maybe they can work over here. So let's connect. Let's just do it like that for now. So we'll have three of them just there, like so. That's fine. And then we can do the reverse sort of building thing again. Oh, they're all over it. They're all over it. There's loads of beavers. They're all over it. They're getting on with stuff. Apart from you're not cutting that thing down, which is unfortunate. But that's fine. Uh, what have we got? Only not many logs and not that many planks, but we do have some more housing. At long last, we've got some more housing. <laughs> Yay. And um, then across the back here, we'll have a very similar thing to what we had across the other one. So we'll have some scaffolding go across the back. We'll have an extra slot there for another house, which is fine. Let's get ourselves another house. And then we will go, yay for housing, yay for housing across the back. Oh, that was not built yet, is it? That was not built. And then we will have ourselves a little ladder that goes up there and one that goes there as well. So that should be a nice block of housing when they get round to it, which could be a long time because, again, they're all quite busy. They've got a lot to do. Can we add some more in here? Um, yeah, we can have two more workers into there. And I don't think they've got no unemployed ones either. There are no... Oh, there you go. There's one unemployed beaver. Okay, it's fine. I'm sure you'll find a job at some point somewhere. Oh, I've made a bit of a mistake just here. So the thing here is not our lovely footbridge where you can go underneath it. This is scaffolding. And that requires more planks. Oh, no. That's really annoying. I assume they can still walk on it. It will still serve the purpose. They can walk on it, I assume. Because we've got these houses at the top here, but they are not accessible right now because they can't get to them. Now, hopefully... Someone can get a plank over to here pretty sharpish. Come on, let's get that done. Okay, right. Now, those houses are now viable houses. We can get to those. Oh, no, they can walk on them. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But in the future, must remember, if we're doing that kind of thing, let's build footbridges because they take two logs and two planks rather than scaffolding, which takes two logs and four planks. Yeah, we wasted quite a few planks on those structures there. But do you know what? Never mind. That's not so bad. That's okay. At least it's in and we have just not got enough housing. We've got one person, one poor person, one poor beaver is, is wandering around homeless. Um, okay, right, how are we looking for food as well? But quite a lot of berries because we cleared this area. Um, grilled potatoes only 14 and quite a bit of water. So food is being kind of artificially inflated by berries. So over here, maybe we need to concentrate on getting some more food in as well. But what I think we'll do is We'll wrap things up for now and we'll come back next time. We will spend quite a lot of our science points. I'm pretty sure we could get most things. And what's that? 30, 50, 70. So that's, that's like 150 to get all that stuff done. That's 250 for the paper mill. Some of the power stuff as well. So yeah, I think we can get quite a lot of things unlocked with our science points. Um, and then we'll just sort of we'll strive to get some of these. I mean, the tribute to ingenuity is 8,000 science points. 8,000 of them. I mean, we've been playing for this long and we've got 1,771. So it might take a while for us to get to that. But I'd, I'd love to get that in. I'd love to get all three of these fancy things in. What's that? 600 planks. 600. At the minute we've got six. <laughs> that could take a long time to get. But I would like to get these things in. I think that will be a kind of a fun thing to do. To build pretty much one of everything. Maybe not one of every kind of, you know, power connector thing. But one of everything else. That would be great. If we could just get a look at all the different bits and bobs. That would be splendid. So yes, we'll come back and we shall carry on doing what we're doing. Get some more food in. Get some more housing. And then, yeah, sort of set up our little outpost over here as well because yeah that's looking pretty good and up here let's get ourselves some more foresters and things in because yes i'm a little bit little bit concerned that we are going through the yeah, the current current load of trees quite quickly so yeah maybe we want to become a little bit more sustainable so yeah we'll have a go at that as well but that's all for next time hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have then please do leave a like that would be splendid and also if you're not already please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time out here in timberborn but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time
I really hope I don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever because I would feel like a terrible person. Hello, robot, and I shall call you Alan. Still some homeless people, still hungry people, still sick people. Okay, if you try and reach London, you will end up frosty and dead. Great big human lollipop. 